Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love at the National and today we're gonna install the BRXS S8 Plus port and I've heard that this is an amazing ROM and it is not listed on the XDA developer. It is not there over at the XDA developer. Link to the ROM will be down in the description and I've heard it is an amazing ROM and it gives a great battery life with a great performance and if you want to extend your battery life, you can flash another kernel which is the Kiboi kernel that I've heard about. So today we're gonna install the ROM only and in the review I've will be reviewing with the Kiboi kernel so let's install the ROM now and first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your device so when your device has turned off you're gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and we're gonna go into the custom recovery and now let go of the power key and now you're gonna go in wipe advanced wipe and we're gonna select the Dell VKRT cache system data and cache and we're gonna swipe to wipe and we're gonna go back back and back and we're gonna go in install and you're gonna select the V5 BRX Nougat S8 Plus and you're gonna swipe to confirm flash and when this is done you're gonna go back and you're gonna have to flash this fixed kernel because some of the users may not boot after installing the ROM so it is a kernel fix that you can swipe and your device will start working so we're gonna swipe to confirm flash and now we're gonna reboot the system so I think it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to boot up so we're just gonna let it boot up so I'll be back so guys the device just booted up and we're just gonna quickly set it up so guys the device just booted up and it feels a little bit sluggish to me but it is really smooth as you can see the animations are really smooth over here but uh, for my taste it is a little bit sluggish and as you can see it just froze up for a second and at the first glance the ROM looks like the older versions of the gold eagle ROM to me so that is that and I think it just froze so no worries about it let's just reboot the device and anyways we had to do a fix on it so let's just restart the device and if you get stuck into these kind of problems just press volume down key and power key it simulates a battery disconnection so it will reboot your device we just have to power on the device then we're gonna have to power it down once again and go into the custom recovery to apply and version 5 fix So it does come with Bixby. Let's just turn off our device. And we have to go into the custom recovery now. And to do that, we're just gonna press volume up key, home key, and power key at the same time. And now we're gonna let go of the power key. And now we're gonna have to go install. And we're gonna select the fixed version 5 over here. And we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. And we're gonna reboot the system now. So guys the device booted up and the ROM looks nice at first. I like that all of the fonts and the icons are really small. I really like that. It makes me feel like the screen is big so that is great. It also comes with Bixby over here and it does not have Bixby voice because if the Bixby voice is present you get uh, the Bixby sound over here whatever she says over here. So let's go into settings and about device. And you get the model number of the S8 Plus. You have the device name as the BRS Nougat S8 Plus. Let's go into software information. And I don't really think it is an actual S8 port because there is no uh, Samsung Experience version over here. But it is great. I think it is a uh, S7H port. Once again, theme like the S8 and a couple of applications added from the S8 and changed the model number in the build.prop. So I think that's what is going on over here but i think the rom feels a little bit sluggish for my taste so what i recommend is going into the developers options over here and going down and reducing the animation scale to 0.5x so it makes your phone feels a lot more faster so as you can see it feels so much faster now everything is quick and easy so i think at the first glance rom looks nice but it will need a full review 
so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to your channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys